Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to your four month FE exam plan. So if you have four months to prepare for the FE exam or you're aiming to pass it before the end of this year, then watch this video closely. These four months can change the entire trajectory of your journey and you need to be very strategic. It is also important to have a solid study plan to ensure that you're going to perform well, feel confident and ultimately pass your FE exam. So now let's dive into the study study plan that has helped many of our students pass the FE exam within three to four months. Oh yeah, everybody now. So the first thing I recommend that you guys do is watch this video here where I talk about the five things that you must do before you even start studying for the FE exam. The steps you take before you start preparing will either set you up for success or make things harder. Once you've completed those five things, then we can go ahead and plan out your next four months. So how should you spend the four months? Well, the first six weeks focus on studying the morning subject. These are the general topics that you'll encounter before the 25 minute break. So for example, if you are taking FE Civil, these subjects would be for math all the way to fluid mechanics. Now you may encounter some surveying questions before the break, but keep in mind that surveying is more specific to civil engineering and it's not a general subject. And we are going to cover surveying when we study the afternoon topics. Now, if you are taking our courses, you can just simply study the morning course during these six weeks. Now, when you guys are studying for the FE exam, make sure that you guys are not just engaging in passive learning. Simply watching long lectures is not going to help you effectively learn and retain the material for the FE exam. While many study materials out there offer long lectures, they don't really help you prepare for the test. Oftentimes, students get bored, don't retain much information, and most importantly, don't get enough practice, which is key to the FE exam. So it's important that you guys focus on active learning, where you're solving a variety of problems and applying the concepts that you've learned. This hands-on approach will help you retain the material better for the FE exam. And to help you guys with this, we've created the Jenny Prep FE Problem Set, which is a PDF that combines all of our YouTube FE problems into one convenient file. It includes video links for each question so you can easily review the step-by-step -step solutions. So if you guys are interested in that problem set, you can grab it here. Once you've completed all the morning subjects, it's a good idea to take a full practice exam to assess your progress. While you may not have covered the afternoon subjects yet, this will give you guys a sense of where you stand with those subjects. Plus, when you start studying the afternoon subjects, you'll already have an idea of which areas need more focus. Now, weeks 7 to 13, focus on studying the afternoon subjects, which are the topics you'll encounter after the 25-minute break. And these subjects are specific to your major. So, for example, if you are taking FE Civil, these topics would include surveying all the way to construction. And if you are using our courses, you can just simply study the civil or the mechanical course, depending on which discipline you're preparing for. Now, after you completed the afternoon subject, take another practice exam, and you can even retake the same one you did earlier. This will help you see if your performance has improved after covering the afternoon subjects. Now, weeks 14 to 16, so in these last two final weeks, I really recommend that you guys focus on reviewing the problems and concepts you've already covered and taking more practice exams. Now, when you take practice exams, make sure that you guys go over the answers, make sure that you review your mistakes so that you can avoid making the same mistakes during your exam. Now, keep in mind, guys, that to successfully study all the subjects within this time frame, within the four months, it's essential to start with the right study resources. Choosing the right study material can either set you up for success or make the process more difficult and slower. And unfortunately, many FE study resources out there offer long lectures and not enough practice problems, just like we mentioned before. And sometimes the problems are not even up to date with the FE exam format. So be sure to do your research 
and find study materials that will help you master the fundamentals of engineering and pass the FE exam efficiently. And then also make sure that you guys check out our courses at jennyprep.com. Our courses have helped many students pass the FE and the PE exam because we provide short lectures and we go over a lot of concepts and we do a lot of different problems. And our problems, we also provide step-by-step -step solution with a video format, just like we do here in our channel. So make sure that you guys check out our courses. And if you want to learn more about our courses, you can check out this video here where I go into more depth to help you guys decide if it's the right fit for you. So that's your FE study schedule to prepare for the FE exam in four months. Now, if you guys would like a copy of this study plan, you can download it here along with the six month plan in case four month is not enough for you. Now, in addition to following this study plan, it's really important that you guys also incorporate strategies that will help you guys learn and retain the information better for the FE exam. Now, remember guys, it's really important that you guys study smarter and not harder. So in the next video, I'll be sharing with you guys some tips that will maximize your study efforts. So be sure to like this video and don't forget to subscribe so that you guys don't miss out on any future content. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great productive week and I will see you guys on the next video. Oh yeah, everybody now.